Hey everybody, it's Mike the Reptile Guy here in Victoria. Uh, it's a, a pretty rainy Saturday uh, and we're actually in front of Butterfly Gardens and we're going to drop off some of those rescue turtles that we got in last week. Um, so I'm pretty excited about this place. They've got uh, huge indoor facilities. I've never seen them before. Uh, apparently they've got flamingos and other turtles and lizards and kind of everything running around there. So it's going to be a, a pretty exciting little trip here. So yeah, we'll go inside and see what they got. Okay, so before we take you around and show you the, the big pond area of Butterfly Gardens, we're going to show you kind of a behind the scenes part of what goes on here. And I'm here with Adam, and Adam's going to tell us what he's doing with this. Uh, right now we just got our Costa Rica shipment of pupa. So these are, this is the stage before they're adults. And we're gluing them to strips of tape with hot glue. And then we'll hang them up on our rack in our emerging window and they'll emerge whenever they're ready. Now this little guy's wiggling around pretty good there. Does that mean he's about to come out soon or? Uh, no, uh, they just wiggle sometimes if they're disturbed. Um, when they're ready to emerge, they'll usually turn a bit of a darker color. And then they'll emerge within a few hours after that. And roughly how many different kinds of butter? Are they all butterflies and moths or are they just butterflies? All of these are butterflies. Uh, the difference between butterflies and moths is three, but one of the main ones is that Butterflies will form a chrysalis, and then moths will form a cocoon, and then form a chrysalis oh, okay. inside the cocoon. Okay. Now I just want to look, can I grab one of these real quick? Yeah, here? for sure. Now which, what were these again? What kind were these? Those ones are the monarch butterfly. Monarch butterfly. Look at the, look at the gold. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they're pretty. Maybe they're slippery. It's really smooth. Yeah. I don't know if you can see the gold on that. It's crazy. Look at that. And again, how many different kinds do you have here? Um, in, in this, just in this little area here. Probably. Just roughly. Please. Oh, wait, there's sorry. our list. <laughs> I would say that's about 30. Oh, wow. 30, 30, 30 different, different times. But well, we get uh, shipments from two different countries. So this is just the Costa Rica shipment, and then we get the Filipino shipments as well. Oh, okay. And what are these two? That's, uh, that's just, I'm looking at the size difference here. Some of the chrysalis are pretty large, yeah. or some of them are fairly small. And then while you've got those out, can I grab while well, you don't have those big ones out? I was going to grab them out. It's okay. The, there's some that are just massive. They're about that big. What, what were they again? The Atlas, 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 Atlas Moss. Just massive cocoons. They're not cocoons. These, yeah, there we go. Look at that. That one's died? Uh, that one's already emerged. Oh, it's already so, emerged. Yeah, well, where does it come out of then? It comes oh, out of right there. there. A little hole yeah. there. Crazy. And then Adam was saying that the Atlas moss only lived for five days. Because I asked if they had any living ones here that we could see. But apparently they only live for five days and they don't, what was it, they don't have mouth parts? Yeah, they don't have a digestive system or mouth parts so they can't eat. They die in five days. I don't see the point in living if you can't eat. But <laughs> apparently, well, think about it, they eat, sleep, and have sex. Pretty good life. But they don't even <laughs> eat. They don't even eat. As caterpillars though. Oh, I guess so, yeah. Okay, okay so that works then. Yeah. Cool, well, thanks a lot. And we're going to go out and check out some of the, uh, the gardens and see where the ponds are, or the turtles are going to. Okay, so now we're, we're in the pond area. I don't know if you heard that because there's too many birds in here. But uh, this is where the turtles are going to live. So I'll let you pan around. You can get a good look here. This is amazing. Now, how, how many turtles do you have in here right now, Adam? I think about six. Six or so. And there's a koi. There's an Oscar in here. And there's actually, if you look over that way there, there's flamingos. I don't know if you can see them or not. There's a couple of flamingos over there. They're hiding. Yeah, so this is where the turtles are going to be living now. Not all of the turtles, but some of the turtles are going here. So we'll uh, give out one here and we'll, we'll release it and see how it goes. And these are the biggest sliders they have in here now. Uh, we'll one more here. Oh, right into the water. We'll give another one. There. Yeah. So yeah, this, I, I can't think of a better home for these guys. This is an amazing setup. So we're, we're really happy with this. Oh, and they're both got the same little spot there. Wow. And uh, the pond, now it filters, how does it go? It flows through this way and yeah, so it goes down yeah. We have a big waterfall down at the end. Yeah. And that's where it's got intakes that go up. And then it takes it all the way back to the front where we have the Buddha uh, stream. Yeah, pond. yeah. And there's actually a filter box where that waterfall is. Oh, awesome. Yeah, this is awesome. Cool, thank you. I want to do that. No worries. All right. Let's get another one. Okay, shut up. The birds are so loud. I wanted to show you something that I thought was really cool. Um, on this leaf here, you see it's all, it's all eaten up. And what's it being eaten by? Owl butterfly caterpillars. Yes, and then, now the owl butterfly caterpillars are hatching out of these eggs here. Let me get a close up there. So they're hatching out of these eggs. And how, how big are they when they hatch out? They gotta be tiny. They're pretty tiny. They're only about maybe half a centimeter long. Uh, and then they turn into the go? This one here. I don't know if you can see that. So that is an owl butterfly caterpillar. Now how long will it stay a caterpillar like that for? About three to four weeks. Okay. And then how long do the, the butterflies of these live? 
<laughs> so live on average about four to six weeks. Oh, okay, adults. so longer than those other ones that are yeah. five days. Yeah. So there's more eggs all up here. Now, how, how many eggs can a butterfly lay at one time? Depends on the species. Uh, one that only lives for about five days can lay anywhere around 100 eggs. Okay. Uh, these guys, I think, would lay more around maybe a dozen or so. Oh, okay. yeah. So, all so these, so these, if this is one, this is another one. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Cool. They might make, lay a couple dozen as well, and they'll lay in different spots. Yeah. So they'll fly on one plant, lay some eggs, oh, okay. fly on another plant, lay some eggs. Nice. They don't want to put all their eggs in one basket, sure, right? Yeah, so. yeah. Awesome, cool. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, so we're, we're here, not with an animal or anything, it's a cool little plant. And what's it called again? It's called mimosa. Yeah. Or uh, one of the common names is shy lady. Now, why would it be called shy lady? Well, we'll show you the plant first. This is it here. This is the plant. Now, why is it called shy? Well, it doesn't look like much, but it's called shy lady because when you touch these leaves, they will instantly close up. Oh, okay. So let's try this again. Oh, wow. Now, they don't just die off and fall off when you do that, do they? Nope. They uh, will unfold in a couple minutes. Wow. Do you know why they do that? Like, what is the... I believe it's a defense. Um, yeah. If an insect were to land on the plant and then the leaves were closing up, the insect thinks something's trying to get me, something's moving, and the jump defense? off or fly off, and therefore protect the plant from me. I don't know if that was cool or not. I'm trying to break from it. All right, cool. Thank you so much, Adam, for your time. I appreciate it. Uh, the place is awesome. Yeah, if you guys ever get a chance to come down to me for Butterfly Gardens in Victoria, it's awesome. I love it. And you can see the turtles too. So I think I've got, what do you got? You've got, uh, got turtles, tortoises, yeah. uh, geckos, and chameleons, poison dark dogs. Yeah, so there's all, all kinds of things here. Yeah, yeah, there's finches and parrots everywhere. So yeah, it's a really cool place to get a chance to come down and check this out. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Okay, so. I'm in Abbotsford now, we got some more turtles that we found a home for. Um, we're here with Patricia who doesn't want to be on camera. And uh, we've got Lee here. And this is, this is where the turtles are going here. Uh, it's not quite full of water yet, uh, but in the, in the late spring and I guess in the summertime it'll be full of water. I'm oh, uh, yeah. not right up to the top, the turtles can't actually get out. No. Um, now I said I didn't want them going to outdoor ponds, but this is a situation where the turtles aren't going to be able to get out. It's not a natural pond, so there's not a lot of wildlife that will be you know, naturally coming to this pond anyways. So I feel it's a really good home for the turtles here. Um, so yeah, so we'll give... Uh, Lee here some of the turtles, and these are the, this is one of the bigger ones I think that we had. So, and you can do the official release. There you go. You can, just, you can just grab the other ones and throw them in if you want. Set them gently, I mean, not throw. Don't drop them. <laughs> there you I go. Some, I got some, got some worms. Have they been fed at all? Uh, not you? today, no. no. Not today, How yeah. often do you feed them? Uh, Manita's actually been in charge of feeding them, but I think she's been throwing some greens, because they've been eating greens too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I've thrown some pellets in there, but they weren't too interested in the pellets and that. Um, but uh, I mean, there'll, there'll be enough bugs in that out here, I'm sure, in the summertime. Oh, yeah, they'll, they'll get plenty of, of plenty of bugs. Our so. final turtle home, we've got the, the home for the last five of the, the sliders we have here. Um, and uh, we were contacted by Roxy, who doesn't want to be on camera, but we're saying her name anyways. And uh, yeah, if you get a look here, you see this huge, huge pond. Just massive. And in the summertime, the reeds all grow in. I'm assuming there's lily pads and stuff, and apparently there's a little fish in here. So it's, it just, it couldn't get better for them, right? Um, so we're gonna let them go in here and see what happens. There's other turtles in here. There's three, five, four or five more turtles in here? Yeah, there's four, five more turtles. Six. Okay, so there's six more turtles in here. So they're not, they're gonna have some friends in here. So let's see how they, they do in here. This one's already trying to get away. They're probably just going to sink and do absolutely nothing. Oh, there he's moving around there. There you go. Somewhere. Oh, that one's going to float for a minute. There we go. There'll be lots of food in here for him, too. There's lots of plants. There's going to be lots of bugs, a little fish they'll eat. Awesome, awesome place. That's probably one of the smallest ones we had right there. There we go. All right, so there we go. We, we found homes for all 14 sliders. Well, the one we're keeping because it's got the broken shell, but yeah, we found homes for all 14 sliders. Um, I think we found pretty good homes, thanks to the people who contacted me. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys.